Just like millions of other women, I wear high heel shoes despite the pain and physical damage it causes my feet. Today, a new two minute procedure is giving women with foot pain caused by their high heels, as well as other conditions such as arthritis, the ability to walk pain free. Women want to wear high heels. It's very hard to pull off a cocktail dress with flats. Now, there might be some who can do that. I'm sure there are, but I'm not one of them. Do they create problems uh, with women's feet? Yes. My role, though, is not to talk women out of wearing high heel shoes. My role is to try and mitigate uh, the amount of damage that they do. And we can do that with an injectable dermal filler. The injections create this pad, but it feels just like my foot, so it doesn't feel any different than anything else. And within a day, it, I don't even know it's there, except that I know I'm protected. I know that I'm not hitting my bone and feeling the pain. When a woman wears a high heel shoe, she lifts her heel up, and some of them are five or six inches. And when they do that, instead of walking on the bottom of the metatarsal heads, you're then walking on the ends of the bones. And you don't have the protection of the fat pad underneath of the metatarsal heads to buffer the shock and the repetitive injury that occurs. And when you keep that tissue stretched, it loses its elasticity and over time people can develop a form of osteoarthritis, which is degenerative arthritis. Their feet hurt and they will develop other problems. My pain was so bad in my left foot, right on the metatarsal, right where we hit that even the smallest of heels would create pain. I'd be limping within 30 minutes. So here's what most podiatrists would say to me if I went to them. They'll say, you know, you're, you've got to take care of your feet. Don't wear heels, wear flat shoes. I'm a professional, I'm out in the world. I do a lot of speaking. So when I get up in front of groups, I'm not comfortable wearing flats. And, and I think what makes Dr., I know what makes Dr. Zhang so unique is that he's willing to work with women to wear the shoes they want. What we're trying to do with this type of injection is to provide a temporary filler with a natural substance. And it provides padding that lasts for anywhere from 12 months to 13 months, and then you can repeat it. It's a dense material. It goes in like a thick liquid, and it gets the consistency of a gummy bear. And you're walking on that spongy type of material. It almost makes you feel like you're walking on carpeting even though you're inside a six inch stiletto. Right now what I'm doing is I'm using an alcohol prep to prep the skin and to make it aseptically clean for an injection. And you can see, just look at this area right over here now. And afterwards when we're done, you're gonna see the area is gonna be plumped up. This is a topical anesthetic. I'm using ethyl chloride and you can see the spray, and this freezes the skin, and it does so by evaporating very rapidly. And once it's done, we then make a little injection, and then we're done. In checking, in checking this here, you can actually see the area where we have placed the dermal filler, and it is plumped up very well, and you can see how poofy it is. I will ask Loretta to wear uh, low-heeled, comfortable shoes for the next two or three days, and then by the weekend, she can go back to her heels. As many women that get this procedure done so they can wear their heels more comfortably, there are many, many more patients that have other conditions, different forms of arthritis, uh, conditions where they naturally lose the fat pad under the metatarsal heads, and they have a sense that they're walking on bones. And this procedure actually works quite well for them. How incredible that we can have a fat pad put where we need it. These injections have opened a whole new door for me. It's quick, it's, uh, it, it is painless from the standpoint of what I would call pain. You will feel a pitch, you know, that sting, but I just use my mantra. I say Jimmy Choo, Gucci, YSL. <laughs> over and over again, I can get through anything. <laughs> I don't know if the shoe companies are thrilled or not, but this does enable women to actually wear what they want to wear. Shoes make a fashion statement, and it's important in this century for women to feel good about themselves.
And what I've learned is that women love their high heels. So let's protect them and try and, and mitigate any further damage that they would create by wearing them without any protection. Monday.